They make even the most experienced swimmers rush back to the shore. The brown and the yellow and the purple ones, they're like my enemies. Often seen as huge gelatinous clusters floating in the water, jellyfish seem to swarm more and more shores and seas. But are they really taking over our oceans? Jellyfish invasions and stings made headlines on beaches in the Mediterranean in the summer of 2024. There are a few explanations. Jellyfish reproduction is complicated, but put simply, they can clone themselves in large numbers. When conditions are right, jellyfish reproduce so much that they form large so-called blooms. The jellyfish life cycle is uh, very dependent on winter and summer condition. In some years, you have um, more jellyfish because all the conditions play together to facilitate reproduction of jellyfish. In some years, it's not the case. Not every jellyfish cluster is a bloom, though. Sea jellies aren't very good at swimming, so wind or ocean currents can easily push them into the same spot. This is called an aggregate. However, the increase in jellyfish is likely caused by human activity. As global warming is changing conditions in the ocean, many species are struggling to survive, except for jellyfish. They are master of adaptation and evolution. They are primitive and simple, but could cope with unfavorite conditions like the lower pH, low, P, uh, low oxygen, which makes them uh, more robust to cope with um, environmental changes that all oceans and seas are facing. With climate change, seas like the Mediterranean are experiencing longer spells of marine heat waves all year round. For some jellyfish, the warmer water is making reproduction easier. Another driver of blooms is overfishing. This means jellyfish have less competition for food and fewer predators like tuna or turtles. In the Mediterranean alone, the fishing industry accidentally catches up to 150,000 sea turtles every year. So what happens when there are too many jellyfish? Las medusas se alimentan de huevos y larvas de peces en algunos en algunos casos y entonces sí que podría tener un impacto sobre esta población que al al tiempo que coincide el bloom de medusas con la reproducción de esa especie, pues podría haber una depredación uh, muy intensa y por lo tanto no permitir que esta población llegue a a tener su su stock de adultos. Y luego esto repercutiría en lo que sería las pesquerías. Large blooms can also cause structural damage. Buildings close to the shore are a prime target. In Sweden, jellyfish swarms have clogged the cooling pipes of the Oskarshamn nuclear power plant several times, even forcing it to temporarily shut down. And of course, they sting, which can lead to beach closures and negatively impact tourism. It, it's like fireballs in every fiber. But jellyfish are not all bad. As they glide through the different layers of water, they carry nutrients, which other marine creatures feed on. And by eating the offspring of other species, jellyfish help to maintain a balance in the food chain under the sea. No son una plaga. Son organismos que cumplen una, una función como todos, ¿no? El problema está cuando esto no está balanceado, cuando esto se desbalancea por algún impacto, en este caso de origen antropogénico, pues ahí es cuando tenemos un problema con esa, con esa población que puede crecer de forma desmedida. One solution could be better fisheries management to help jellyfish predators recover from overfishing. It's also important to mitigate the impact of climate change on the oceans. This includes reducing greenhouse gas emissions and limiting human stress factors for marine life, such as large-scale fishing, the proliferation of coastal infrastructures and pollution. Lo que también tenemos que intentar darle tiempo es observar y ver que realmente en qué lugar van a encajar las medusas, porque al final Las medusas llevan uh, más de 500 millones de años en la Tierra. And as long as you don't get too close, it's worth remembering that they are a beautiful sight to behold. <laughs>